Welcome back. In today's video, we'll be covering ways to fix a blank or black screen in Windows 10. There are many reasons this can occur and hopefully we'll find a fix in this video. We'll need to be starting in safe mode quite often to check some of the possible solutions. So have a video which will show you how to do that, even from a blank screen, and the link will be in the description. You'll need to skip to 1 minute 58 in that video for the correct method. If the black screen appeared whilst you were working on a document, you can press CTRL and the S key at the same time to save your work before we look at some of the fixes. The first few solutions will be for those of you that get the black screen before you even have a chance to log in. If this is the case, the most common issue will be with your monitor and connections, however there are potentially other causes. The first thing to try will be to press the caps lock button. This will allow us to test if your PC is responding. If it is responding, you'll see the caps lock indicator light up on your keyboard. If the light does appear, your PC is responding and you can try refreshing the screen. You can do this by pressing four buttons on your keyboard at the same time. These buttons are the Windows key, the Control key, the Shift key and the letter B key. When you press these together, you'll probably hear a beep and the screen will refresh. If you're using Windows 10 on a tablet PC, you can do this by pressing the volume up and down buttons together three times within two seconds. If this doesn't work, we'll continue with some more fixes. It's now more likely that the connection to your monitor or the monitor itself is the problem. There are a few things to try. Firstly, ensure that your monitor display is working. You should be able to check this by bringing up the menu. If that works, the connection is probably the cause. This could mean the wires or the ports are broken or faulty. Check the ports on your PC, monitor and on the cable itself for any visible damage. If there is a minor cable problem, you may see an image flicker on the screen. If this happens, you'll need to determine whether it's the cable or the ports. If you have a spare cable, you could try using that. Also, ensure that your monitor is set to the correct input. It might be worth trying all the inputs available just to check. You can also try using another video output on your PC for example, if you can, use DisplayPort rather than HDMI, or if you have more than one HDMI, use another port. If you're using a laptop, it might be worth taking it to a repair shop to check for any internal connection faults. Also, depending on your keyboard, try increasing the brightness. This method will be different depending on the laptop manufacturer. You can search online for how to do this. You can also try searching your graphics card to see if there are any problems related to it or if it is even supported by Windows 10. If the monitor, connections or graphics card isn't the problem, it now could be caused by software. These fixes can be used whenever you get the black screen, whether you're able to log in or not, or even if you get a blank screen with a spinning loading circle. For these solutions, we're going to need to start in safe mode. The video will be linked in the description showing you how to do that, even from a black screen. When you start up, Windows will be running with limited features. Firstly, we're going to try uninstalling any software that may have caused the problem. You'll need to think about any recent software changes that may have caused the black screen. To uninstall software, go to Settings which can be accessed from the Start menu and then to Apps. Find the programs from the list and select them and click Uninstall. If you use any third-party antivirus software, that could be causing the black screen, so you could try uninstalling that. Restart your PC to check if these solutions have worked at any time within Save Mode. It may be worth waiting though for a few more solutions, but feel free to try it now if you think software could be the cause. We'll now focus on our display drivers. We're going to check if we can roll back our drivers first, and to do this you'll want to go to the Device Manager. You can search for it in the search bar. In the Device Manager, find the option named Display Adapters and click on it. Then right click on your graphics card and select Properties. Now look for where it says Rollback Driver and click on it if you can. If it's greyed out, we can also try updating our graphics card drivers. You can do that from within here too by clicking on Update Driver and then choosing the automatic option. Alternatively, you can search for a driver update and download and install it from the manufacturer's website. Use the info of your graphics card in the Device Manager to download the correct driver for your device. You could also try uninstalling your device driver if you believe this to be the problem. You may then need to reinstall it after restarting. It's worth restarting your PC now if you haven't already to check if any of the fixes so far have worked. If the problem has only just occurred since a recent Windows update, we can uninstall that update to check if that fixes the problem. To uninstall a Windows update, firstly go to the control panel. You can get there by searching for it. 
Then select Programs and then view Installed Updates, which is in blue. Find the most recent Windows update that may have caused the issue and right click on it. Then select Uninstall and follow the steps. Next, we can try restoring Windows to a recent point. You'll only need to do this though if you think a recent change caused the problem. This will not affect any of your personal files, however recent software installations and updates may be removed. To do this, search for recovery in the search bar, then click on Open System Restore. Then click Next and find the most recent restore point that is before the black screen first appeared. Select it and click Next, then Finish. If the issue is still appearing after you have restarted your PC, there are a few more things you could try. If you get the black screen after logging in, try and open the Task Manager by pressing Ctrl, Alt and Delete at the same time, then select Task Manager. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl, Shift and Escape to open the Task Manager. In the Task Manager, try restarting the process called Windows Explorer. Find Windows Explorer from the list, right click on it and select Restart. The next thing to try will be to first shut down your PC and then disconnect any devices, such as your mouse, keyboard and even Ethernet cables. Just leave your PC connected to the monitor and power and then restart. This exact fix has helped me in the past, especially after a Windows update. As always, if you have any questions then feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try my best to help you. I will also keep the description updated with new fixes, so check in there too, and if any of you find a fix in the future, then it would be great if you could return to the video and post it in the comments to help others. I really hope I was able to help you today, if I did, make sure you leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.